Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenner, and today we are playing not Vladimir Putin of Peskov. Recently took over uh, Polotsk and Lepiel, and it's, apparently it changed the name of this province to uh, Palatsekia. But it's Polotsk. Don't worry about it. It's Polotsk. <laughs> Don't worry your little head. And now we have uh, the ability to create the Duchy of Polotsk, only we can't do it because we don't have, what is it, 188 bucks? Yeah, it's expensive. We don't have that kind of money. We're only getting 0 0.85 bucks per month. Anywho, let's continue on, shall we? Oh yeah, we should check if there's anyone cool to betroth. I kind of forgot about that. I know we looked at it in the last episode, but I kind of just gave up on it because there was no one interesting. She, however, is very interesting. Ah, oh, there we go. Now, now he wants me to marry his daughter. See, that's the kind of forward thinking I can get behind. Marry your daughter, claim your throne, all that sort of shit, you know? He's got these three sons. Yeah. And this girl, who already has a claim. Oh, I can marry her. See, last time I checked and they all said no. Maybe maybe they just needed us to show our worth by conquering some lands. You know, maybe that's all they needed was a little push in the right direction. Uh, we are 13. So we'll probably want to go with this guy's daughter because she's about the same age. And we're both content. So that's fine. Yeah, we'll go with her. There we go. Enjoy. Now, let's hope they stick with it. Uh, one of the things that was a problem with CK2 in the past was you would have people accepting betrothals like that, but then they would never... Yes, he accepts it. Uh, but then they would never stick to it. When the time comes, they would change the deal. And it's like, no, that's not what we originally said, you know? But supposedly they fixed it so that that won't happen anymore. Oh! Oh, good! Not Vladimir Putin is now homosexual. Fantastic! Did I get this from you? No. This guy is not homosexual. So where'd you get it from, not Vladimir? Fuck's sake. Ah, oh, Jesus. Or whoever the Slavic people worship. Oh, two people eloped, got married, without anyone's consent. Oh ho ho ho. Our Chancellor, who is also our Regent. Uh-oh. 75% chance the elopers are caught and imprisoned. I wonder if that means we'd get our money back. Because this guy has been stealing money. This motherfucker has been stealing money. You know what? Yeah. Seize them. Yes. You son of a bitch. And now we need someone else to be our chancellor. Does that mean our regency is... No, he's still our regent. But he's in prison. How can you regent from... How can you be a regent from prison? I don't know. Uh, anyway. I'm going to banish him. Get out of here. Son of a bitch. Give me that cash. He's been stealing from us. And she has cash too. Oh, I can't banish her? I can ransom her? Oh, there you go. Yeah. Ransom her. Perfect. And our new regent is... Our spy master. You know what? That's probably a bad thing. Hmm. Liege is homosexual. He sure is. This 13-year-old brat is as queer as can be. Oh my goodness. God damn it. Who the hell made us a homo? I don't even know. Someone made us a homo. Oh, and our spy master is pissed. And I can't dismiss her because she's our fucking regent. Well then, isn't that good? No, this is fantastic. There is nothing that can go wrong here. Uh, hmm. Let's go with the older dude. And uh, improve relations with the king, please. And we can't get rid of her, so let's give her... Oh, we can't give her any honorary titles. Well, crap. Who needs education? You do. Okay, the spy master can teach her, or can teach him. Because she... No, where's the spy master? Where's the, where's the fucking spy master? Princess Yav... 
Yevdokia. Yevdokia. There she is. Princess. Spy master. Bingo. That'll improve relations a little bit. Good. God damn it. Oh. Jeez. Not Vladimir. is just... He's had the worst luck. He really has. And, okay, they paid ransom. That's right. We do have some people to ransom, don't we? Uh, who wants to pay ransom here? Yes. 46 gold. Yes. There you go. And uh, who else? Yes. 10 gold. Okay, you got it. And these idiots. Uh, I can't pay ransom. Why not? I don't know. I can kill them or let them go. I don't know why you're in prison. I'll let you go. I can't ransom you. And uh, I don't know why you're in prison either. We'll let you go. Okay. Oh, beautiful. We have a little bit of extra cash now. Uh, how much are the mercs these days, anyway? Well, they're all busy, except this one. 150 bucks. But they also cost six per month. We're not making anywhere near six per month. How are we doing on vassals? Well, only one vassal is paying their, their, their tithe. This guy is not paying it. Why aren't you paying it, bro? Bro? There you go. Now he'll pay. Uh, anyone else want to pay? Is anyone close? You're close. You want to pay? Oh, I can't give many more honorary titles. Well, shit. What's what's wrong? Oh, he's upset because we turned homosexual. God damn it. <laughs> Everyone's pissed because we went homosexual. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I do swing that way. Very sorry. Oh, for fuck's sake. Look at that. We can only raise 100 troops. We can only raise 100 troops. That is so sad. How are you supposed to reconquer our brother's lands if we can only raise 20 troops, you know? I don't know, but we need to. Okay, now it says 320. Just a minute ago it said 80. Okay. Alright, it's about time for us to uh, switch over to our... What is it called? Me. I'm going to switch over to the Gray Eminence. Right here. There you go. And neatly enough, that actually makes him like us, which means he'll also pay us. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. We're getting a little more money now, too, because he likes us, because we made him tutor us. Now, give me that great eminence, you son of a bitch. If we're going to smooth talk all the men, then we need some frickin' diplomacy. God damn it, I'm homosexual. Someone was imprisoned. Okay. The, Rus the Russian revolt seems to be doing okay. Uh, but, guard... The Ricky is actually killing troops faster. And Ruthenia has sent up an army to help put down the revolt. Damn it, Ruthenia. You're helping too well. Too much. Why you gotta help so much, Ruthenia? Oh, what's this? The Jalander conquest of Pojanma. What the fuck is Pojanma? I don't even know. I've never heard of Pojanma. Oh, they have a revolt as well. Pojanma? All right, I'm going to type it in. This is something I just don't know. P-O-H. There it is. The county of Pojan... Pojanma. Oh, it's up in Finland. Of course it is. Of course it is. Can't pronounce it? Probably Finland. Oh, what's this? Someone wants to educate someone. My half-sister with Otter of Viasma. Sure, whatever. You got it. I don't care about my half-sister. Not even a little bit. Still only, yeah, whopping 340 troops. But that's only if we're fully replenished. Right now, we're pretty weak. 
This guy's about to come of age. I need him to die. Can we just strangle him? We have an 11% chance of strangling him. That's not good enough. I need him dead. Oh, I need this guy dead. And I don't want to waste mercenaries on it either. Okay, hurry up. Just give me my gray eminence and let's move on. Put all this horribleness behind us and start conquering our neighbors, can we? Yes, yes. Keep relations up with the liege. Oh, we're now cruel. Haha, <laughs> look at that rat trying to walk with broken legs. Roly-poly little rat. Treating people nicely feels good. I have gained the kind trait. What? Oh, it cancels out. We got cruel, but then he said, no, 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 don't be cruel. We're kind. Okay. Aw. Well, that does help our diplomacy, so that's nice. But our stewardship is garbage. Uh-oh, we're at war again. Again? Hungarian subjugation of Ruthenia. Whoa! Contested is the entire kingdom of Ruthenia. Holy balls, Hungary. What do you think you're doing, you son of a bitch? Look at this. He's got 7,000 motherfuckers. Holy shit. And he's just annihilating Ruthenia's army. Yep. Not even a dent. Oh, wow. Little brother's about to come of age. He's actually older than us by a tiny bit. We're twins, though. How do I know he's older? Because it popped up his name first. <laughs> when it asked us what we should name our kids, it popped him up first, and then it showed me. Vladimir Vladimirovich is now of legal age. This was the bastard. Uh, yeah, he turned out okay. He became a mastermind theologian. Good for him. Why don't you go marry some wench? My diviner. You want to marry my diviner? He is the Putin dynasty, so I guess he could spread the Putin dynasty. Let's see if we can find him someone to marry. Most people don't want to marry a bastard child, though. Uh, let's, uh... I'm gonna marry your sister there. You wanna marry my bastard? Oh, look, yeah, they do. Look at that. Perfect. And she's got a claim on the throne, so maybe we will get Putin's on the throne. Who knows? Who knows? There you go. Oh, we came of age. We became Midas touched. What? How? We are being tutored by a guy with great eminence. What? What? Did they change that? Let me ask real quick in chat here. Did they change the mechanic of how your specialty is decided? Because we had gray eminence when we became adult. 5% chance what? <laughs> Shit. That really sucks. So Soviet is saying there's a 5% chance that you get some other random specialty rather than whatever your tutor was. Well... That sucks balls, because we were expecting Grey Eminence, and this low diplomacy. Oh, shit, that's bad. That is really bad diplomacy. Well, hopefully our wife-in-waiting will help. She doesn't really look like she's going to help, though. Oh, well, we'll do our best, damn it. We'll do our best. Our very best. And in the meantime, Hungary is going to just annihilate and annex Ruthenia. That'll be... Yep, pretty much the entire kingdom that you see here will just go to Hungary. Wow. Well, now that we have come of age, the first thing I want, I don't care about having boys or girls, we're going to go become king of Lithuania. Why? Because this gives us the ability to go to war with our neighbors. So I want to find the strongest one, the one with the most land. It looks like it's this one that has four provinces. Yeah. So who are your allies, Mr. Four Province Man? You're allied to... The petty king of Zeeland, who is in three wars, but he's doing rather well for himself. He has 1,500 troops. And how many troops do you have? 1,100. How many troops do I have? 
Very few. Well then, we'll have to just sit on our hands, or maybe we can declare on this guy first. Do you have any allies? The High Chief of Greater Poland. I don't know if I want to deal with that. Okay, what about these guys? No allies! Ah, smiling from ear to ear. Only 700 troops, you say? Ah, beautiful. Alright, our first conquest shall be you, good sir. Uh, do I really want to throw the money right now? We have two options. We could go right now and just conquer him. I think it'll be very easy. Does he have any money? Oh, he does have money, so he could hire some mercs. But anyway, I still think we could probably beat this guy down. The thing is, it could also be a waste of money. If we conquer him, we're going to have to stand everyone down because we can't afford to keep the mercs up for very long. Other alternative is we could wait until we have maybe around a thousand gold. With a thousand gold, we could declare one war, peace out. Declare another war, peace out. Declare another war, peace out. And never let the mercs stand down. That's possible. I think we'll wait a little bit. I do want to get this number all the way up. I want to have my full levy. Because right now our levy is pathetic. And check our vassals again. Now that we've come of age, look at this. Now that we've come of age, our vassals like us. And you, what is your problem? You are now master of the bow. Now pay me my goddamn money, you son of a bitch. Yay, our vassals like us. <laughs> uh, and my heir is my brother. Yeah, but we can fix that. We're just going to have some babies. So he didn't get married, did he? No. My, my, oh, look at his stats. His stats are so much better than mine. Ah, oh, I was supposed to play as him. Can we stab him? Plot power, 26%. If I kill him, I get his title. And I would love that. What are my chances of getting his title? I don't know. Ooh, she's got good stabbing power. Now she hates me because I'm a tyrant. Yeah, that's kind of a problem. You hate me because I'm a tyrant. Well, tough shit. Who cares if I'm a tyrant? Do your damn job and shut up. Ah, you want to be chancellor, do you? And you're a mayor. See, this is what I like. I'm empowering one of my nobles. This is good. Now he likes me even more. Does anyone want to be Marshall? No. I do have a mayor who wants to do something, but nah, he's kind of garbage. Uh, how old are you? 54. Yeah, I think we'll switch over to the guy who likes us. There you go. And you're getting kind of old, too. He's 54. Well, but he likes us, and he's a mayor. We'll keep him. Okay, now they're all, yeah, they're all title holders except this guy. There's, there's no one suitable for that position except him. Okay, well then. Oh, we could create the duchy title right now. Or, or we could wait for the king. The king could create the title with his own money, and he could give me the title. He loves us. He doesn't have the money, though. The king can create the title, he'll take it himself, and then he could give it to me. It's possible. Wow, he really only has one holding? He only has one holding. Holy shit. This is a really weak king. You see that? He has one county holding. That's it. Wow, that is a weak, weak king. Huh. I wonder if my new wife is going to have a claim, because if she does, I would push that right away. Because he's going to have his army destroyed by Hungary right now. That's a that's an amazing opportunity. Do you have allies? Not really. No, he doesn't. His best ally is Ruthenia, and Ruthenia's army was crushed. There is no Ruthenian army. Oh, this is such a good opportunity. But I need to see that army destroyed. If I see that army destroyed, then I'll think about it. Because he's broke. I could raise a larger military than he could. Hmm. There are no plots available. Shit. Okay, well, we'll let time go a little bit here.
You're trying to figure out how he can die. Yeah, I want him to die. I want him to die, so we'll just get that land back. It's not like it's very good land. It just has one holding. But it's mine, damn it. You're not allowed to have it. Fucking fake Vladimir. You know what? We need a haircut. We came out bald, which is the it's the correct haircut. Uh, but we can do better, right? There. There you go. No. No, that's not quite douchey enough. There we go. Perfect. Not Vladimir. We, we're in disguise. <laughs> we're in disguise, goddammit. Yeah, either way, if we die or he dies, either way. Because it's the same dynasty, so we'll still take over. And, yep. Gartharicki's troops were just destroyed. There's Ruthenia trying to fight again. It's not going to do any good. They're destroyed. Gone. Another revolt. There you go. Revolt time. Uh, when is she coming of age, anyway? She's 15. Okay, very soon, huh? Yeah, January. get married yet, bro? Nope, still not married. That's hilarious. People in Twitch chat are trying to tell me to kill my... to kill not Vladimir. But we are not Vladimir. Come on now. We're trying to help not Vladimir, not hurt him. Goodness. Oh, what's this? Ruler unmarried. Ah, here we go. Betrothed can marry. There we go. Yes. God, she's hideous. She is downright hideous. Ugh. Sup, girl? God, she's ugly. What is wrong with you? Did you eat too much? Her stats are terrible. Now I know why we went homosexual. Give me the gold. Hideous woman. You want to be Marshall, do you? Uh, I think the answer is no. You still have no allies. You're still allied to Jaland, right? Yup. Oh wow, six allies. Jaland, Zemegadia, Vastergarland. Wow, it's a lot of allies, Jesus. Okay, he's spending some of his money. Good. That means he won't be able to hire mercs. Hee 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 hee. Now she's the son of a king. I mean, she's the she's the son. She's the daughter of a king. Why does she not have a, a claim on the title? She's the daughter of a king, and she has no claim on the title. None of the kids have a claim on the title. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. Well, the revolt's been crushed. Yep. Revolt's over. And he's re-raising his troops. Don't know if that's going to do you any good, but good luck. Hungary's almost done annexing Ruthen. This is going to be a huge change in the landscape. I am happy with my place in life. I can't think of anything I would rather do than to take care of myself and my friends. Aw, not Vladimir. You and your content homosexual self. Oh. 
and our sister is happy that we're content. Fucking hell, sister. Why can't you slap me into something ambitious? Lower Crown Authority and Gartheriki. What the hell is Crown Authority at? It's at limited. That's fine. Might want to get an alliance with Hungary. While he's Tengri, I don't know. Oh, he's Bohemian. He's Bohemian. While he's Tengri, I don't know if I want to do that while he's Tengri. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, West Francia has annexed Aquitaine. Okay. Asturias is getting gobbled up. Poor Gartha Ricky. He's just getting annihilated. Come on, wife. Pop him out. I know we're homosexual and all, but surely you remember how to make babies, right? Make baby. Well, that capital's just not falling. Oh, you want to be my steward? Uh, yeah, but you don't like me. Hmm. Give him a chance. Wow, this... Oh, it, it just it just fell. I was going to say, it's taken forever to fall. But yeah, if, if that falls, it's over. He's at 90%. And there's nothing anyone can do. Hungary's a beast. Goodbye, Ruthenia. Yeah. Gartharicki's going to lose to these rebels. Well, no, maybe not. It looks like they broke one of the flanks. Yeah, no, they beat him off. Nice. You have beaten off the rebels. What are you going to do next? I'm going to Disneyland. Okay. All right, she needs a new guardian. Educate child. Who needs to help her? Who needs a bonus in relations? Anyone? Nope. Everyone who's a vassal already likes me. Well, here, give it to the lowest opinion vassal then. This guy. Mr. Bullcut. Gotta love bullcuts, man. They're groundbreaking. Oh, he can't join. Aha! See here, it's red. It means he can't join if I declare war. I think he can if it's a holy war, but otherwise he can't. Oh, so this is a good opportunity. But you do have money. How many troops can you raise? 1,200. Hmm. And you have some money as well. Chief of Jomptaland. What the fuck is Jomptaland? I don't even know. 400 troops from jump the land. No, I think we'll be okay. Get the cheapest mercs. We don't need to go balls deep or anything. Uh, yeah. I think it's time. 140 bucks. We're making uh, 3 bucks a month. We can almost afford this. We should be able to keep them around for a while. Not forever, but a while. All right. Raise the troops. Siege him down. And yeah, let's call our brother in. Come on in, brother. Of course he's honoring his obligation. Good job, brother. My half-sister became a thrifty clerk. Good for you. Can we get you matrilineally married? matrilineally married anywhere? You can marry some shamans, some priests... Godi of Heistead. What the fuck? Oh, he's the Chancellor. Interesting. Shaman, priest, shaman, priest, shaman. Wow. Shaman, priest, shaman, priest. Holy crap. That's a lot of shamans and priests. Do they not have children? Because that's what it looks like. It looks like they just don't have children, so they don't care if it's a matrilineal marriage. 
Well, all right, but we're going to go with the Slavic. Slavic, there we go. Uh, 48, 13, 48, 15, not quite. 16, no, but you don't have a title. God damn it. 17, no title. 32, you'll do. You know, just have fun. I don't care if you have any babies or not. Whatever. So we're losing too many a month. That's too many a month. That's fine. Or at least it should be fine. Hopefully we can keep that pace for a while. Bohemia is up here for some reason. Nope, we haven't killed our brother. And Ruthenia is now gone. Say hello to Super Hungary. Yeah, that's scary. He just conquered a whole kingdom. A whole kingdom. Isn't that scary? Uh-oh, our marshal died. Okay. Uh, you'll do. I won't hit that because I don't want to take him off of his siege. He's doing a good job. He's doing God's work on that siege. Wow, my holdings are falling a lot faster than his are. And he only has 750 troops. Hmm. Oh, this one's falling quick. Good. He only has two provinces, so this should be relatively quick. Then again, I only have three provinces, and he's got a head start. Son of a bitch. Spend money, get more tech. Or lose opinion. Yeah, it's just three bucks, whatever. Then again, I don't have much money. God, he's sieging quickly, isn't he? Stop sieging so fast, you son of a bitch. Hungary's going to take the HRE? Well, that would be something if Hungary took the HRE. That would really be something. That's going quick. Nice. Yes, yes, we'll ransom prisoners after the war. There, there's plenty of time to ransom prisoners later. Now, just finish the damn sieges, please. Relations up with the liege? Good. Okay, everything's been sieged. Take out this moron. That might be all the war score we need. We'll see. Yep, done. Hey, hey! Very nice. Alright, next step is to stand down the regular troops. Oh, wow, look how many troops we can handle now. Nice. Oh, and his allies can now come to the war. Shit. What about you? Yeah, they can all come to the war. What about you? 
shit, yeah, they can all come to the war. I was kind of hoping to get in there while these guys could not come to the war, but it looks like I was too slow. Ah, you. Yes, only 700 troops, eh? Well then. Just use the mercs. <laughs> you don't even need to use your regular troops. Oh, what's this? Betrothed can marry. But yes, of course, by all means. Now she has a claim on the kingdom. That's nice. Uh, and she's married to my half-brother. So the Putins, there's a chance we could put Putins on the throne of Rus. Isn't that nice? Just have to keep an eye on whether or not these allies can come to the war. Aha, good. Now they cannot. So as soon as we're done here, we go straight north. Hey, hey, our wife is Preggers. All right. You gonna give me a little boy? I'm very curious who the hell got her pregnant, because uh, we're kind of uh, flamboyant. We don't really swing that way. Oh, wow, our brother already had a baby. Damn it, brother. How many troops can you raise, brother? You can raise 350 troops. Yeah, I'm confident we could beat our brother. Oh, Hungary's got a nice revolt. Oh, the HRE has eaten part of Hungary. Look at this. The HRE ate uh, this duchy. The Duchy of Gran. Ha, ha, ha. The Emperor owns it. Ah, look at that Hungary. Hungary was off, you know, conquering Ruthenia. And while he did that, the HRE gobbled a piece of Hungary. <laughs> Anywho, we do have to take a break here. Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. The time for quick expansion has arrived. We are now taking the ambition to become the king. And if we can do that, power to us. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye from Not Putin.